Last time, on Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires. Our heroes engaged the massive troll in the swamp, as well as the floating ball of poisonous air, eyes, and tentacles. And though most of them came out fine, Cade Candlethumb, who probably shouldn't have been brought along in the first place, was torn to pieces and partially eaten. Quintessa had a freak out about all young hirelings, or even just young children, dying around her. And after they did some last rites for Cade, our heroes moved on to a road that would take them to the Autumn Court. They passed by an Alsaid named Emrog, a merchant who was traveling down the road himself and had a few magical items for sale. The only one of which they took was a cape of billowing for Mace, because he was so extra he just needed it, okay? However, as our heroes and Emrog continued down the road, they found the caravan Emrog was to meet up with slaughtered, and the ambushers, a series of horsemen with flaming pumpkins for heads, led by the Doom Rider, waiting for them. Though they were surrounded, a quick and clever use of Turn Undead by Kit managed to turn the tide, temporarily scaring away the Doom Rider and most of his retinue. Our heroes then took the time to bolt as fast as they could off of the road, so the Doom Rider could not use his speed advantage to follow them. Finally, they came to a dark glade filled with luminescent plants gathered around a cabin in the middle of the woods. On the cabin was writing in Sylvan, which like half of the party understood. By order of Our Lady of Autumn, this is a house of peace. While there was some grumbling about what this could mean given Quintessa's previous experience with Lady Fomar, nevertheless they knocked on the door and found waiting for them inside three Autumn Eladrin. Is this really a house of peace? Will it be able to get them to the Sandman? And how is Rowan going to get out of that plot hole she fell into? Find out on tonight's episode of Rolling with Remix, Fallen Empires. <laughs>